Hey guys, stay tuned, I'm going to show you how I made these hand-dipped bulbs. Um, a word of caution though that I did learn was that after I did them all, uh, the bulbs that were over, I think, I think it was over 10 watts, by adding the oil that we did into the mixture, it will smoke. So you don't want to use a real hot bulb for that if you're going to put the oil in it. Silicone itself is naturally heat resistant. So I don't believe it was the silicone smoking because um, I think it was just the oils. Because the bulbs were really, really hot. Anything, I did a couple of bulbs that were 25 watts and they really smoked really bad. So I just wanted to give you a word of caution on that. If you're going to put the oil into it, then use it on either an LED bulb, which is, that's what these are, are LEDs so they're not hot at all. Or use a very low wattage bulb, like a um, 10 or less, or maybe like a 7 watt bulb. Um, then I think the oil will be okay. Because uh, like on these, these have been on for several hours, they're not hot at all, and these are LEDs. So these are just fine, they don't smoke at all. So I just wanted to bring that um, out before you guys watch the video. And also too, don't forget to check out my description. There's a lot of fun links in there to my Facebook page and my Facebook group, and some people like to help support. And don't forget to give this video a really big thumbs up. That helps to spread it across YouTube land. Thanks guys. Okay guys, welcome back for another episode. So today we're, I'm going to show you how you can dip your own um, bulbs for the decorative look. Kind of like, these were my first trials, um, it's silicone dipping them. So I didn't like that it's still so clear, so it really doesn't give it a good warm glow. So um, I just tried different types of bulbs, different sizes, but they're still way too bright. I like a, this is a nice warm glow. So this time, we're going to use some another silicone. Another thing I did too is this first time doing it, I just used the cheapest and the uh, most basic silicone. And let me tell you, it stunk bad. It stunk my whole house up. So this one is, um, I think, bathroom or kitchen silicone. Yeah, kitchen bath sink. And it says low odor, so hopefully this will be not quite as stinky as the other one. The other one was really, really bad. So we're going to open it. I believe it's got a cap like that. And you just cut the tip off here. Like so. And there is a seal inside of here, which you can just take the scissors. and puncture it and it should fit. Another tool you'll need is a caulking gun. I got this at my local Walmart for just a few dollars too. So after you puncture it and open it, you'll insert like this. And you'll squeeze the trigger a little bit until it gets in there, like so. Another thing we're going to do is you're going to need a spoon. Let's cut our cup down. Like so. Another thing you can do is add a little bit of uh, scented oils into your caulking. So when the candles are on, it'll heat up a little bit and they'll release a little bit of smell. It's not going to fill your whole house, but maybe enough as you walk by it, you'll get a little whiff. So we're going to fill the cup up. You just Sometimes you got to hold it down here. Okay, so we got it filled up there, and I can tell you right now, this stuff still has a smell, so if smells bother you, you might not like doing this, but this is way better smelling than the other one I used. Um, ground cinnamon, and I put probably a teaspoon maybe into it, 
I just want to guess, but if you want to measure everything out, that's what I would assume this would probably be. And I would probably do about the same for the oil. And you do want to make sure um, you're using oil-based oils, not water. And then you'll mix it up real good. Okay, <clears throat> so we got it all mixed up here, and let me tell you, when I add that oil, it actually makes the stuff smell really good, actually, now. Not so, I don't know, chemically as what it was earlier. So after you do that, you'll need to cut some wire, just get any kind of, you know, thin wire. I would do about that long, just so we know I have a plenty. Cut it off. And then you're going to want to wrap it around the edge here and tie it a little bit or twist it on just so you know it's going to hold really well. That's why you want plenty of wire there. What you're going to do is after we dip this, we're going to hang it. I'm going to hang it up here from where the camera is and um, let it dry. And see, you want to test it first, make sure it's going to hold. Um, you do need to let this dry for about... Um, see how to hold now. Let it dry at least 24 hours. It might take longer. It all depends on the humidity of your house and the temperature. A um, couple hours in, you can at least uh, touch it and everything, but for it to fully set up and harden, you're going to need it to be at least 24 hours. So you just put it in there and twist it or do whatever you want. You don't want to go all the way to the base. You want to leave a little bit of glass so whatever you're screwing into it has enough room. If you don't get the tail that you want, you can always re-dip it in, just like so. There's a pretty good tail on that one. And now we'll be ready to hang. I'm going to test it one more time before I put it up there, make sure it's not going to fall out. And we'll hang it. There we go. You can see it there to the side. And we'll just let it hang like that. So we'll do another one real quick. Make sure you have enough room apart from each one. You don't want them touching. Okay, so I already made some, as you can see here, hanging to your side. Um, but I wanted to show you one other method that I kind of just thought of. And I was like, well, let's try this. So I've got a little bigger cup here, too. Because I finished making the rest of my um, silicone cock in there and put it all in there. Mix it all up like I did, showed you before. So I also found a little bit more convenient way to make these wires up, too. I just went and cut up a whole bunch of pieces. And um, if you got gloves, it'd be best to use gloves on this project. But take this, wrap it around like this, pinch it, and do, treat it like a twist tie. And get it really good and tight on there. And then I still go ahead and wrap it a few times. And it does seem to be a lot more secure hold than what the other way, way was. So, 
do it like we did before. Just dip your bulb in there. And so you don't want to get too close to the end like I kind of did there. Because if it gets too thick down there, it will not screw into a um, socket like it should. Okay, so there's that, and there's the tip I like. So now what I'm going to do, though, it's kind of wasteful. That's why I buy very, for this project, I bought very cheap ground cinnamon. I think this was a dollar. Because you don't want to use the real expensive stuff on something like this. Now to make this look really grungy and old, let's just try putting some ground cinnamon directly on it. Really coat it. Knock off the excess. That looks pretty cool. So let's do the other bulb to match it. Let's see how these turn out if they dry really well. We'll show you here. Um, another thing is to remember. I'll hang it right here. Um, what I'm doing uh, after I, I'm going to do the rest of these bulbs here off camera, just so I don't take so much time for this video. But after I get done everything, I'm going to put a fan here and blow on these so it'll help kind of cure them a little faster. But like I said, you still should always plan, you know, to at least 24 hours of letting them hang there and don't touch them. Um, within a few hours, they're able to be touched, but they're still going to be soft underneath. For it to fully cure all the way through the layer of silicone, it usually takes about 24 hours. Could take a little long, could take a little less. It all depends on your temperature of your house and the humidity and everything. Okay, guys, so they've all dried. And as you can see, I did quite a few of them because um, I wanted to use up all the silicone that I had. Because once you mix it all up and everything, you really keep, I don't think you can really preserve it or keep it. So to undo this, you should be able to just pull them off. And we'll do this real fast here. Okay, so we'll get one of my little candlesticks here so you guys can see how they look. So here's just the plain white bulb that I just used. Turn it on. Yeah. There we go. And that a really cool warm glow that it gives. Now let's turn some of these lights off here. I love it. I love how these turned out. So there's one. This is one of the little mini uh, white ones that we have done the um, cinnamon directly on the outside. Isn't that cool too? Now this bulb here is uh, an Edison bulb, but it's an LED, so it's going to be pretty bright. Um, so we'll see how well this turns out. Oh yeah. That helped tone that one down really well. So um, so well if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you really uh, have some crafty friends that like stuff like this, make sure you share it with them and share it across your social medias for me. And check out my description. There's a lot of fun links in there. Also to my Facebook page and my Facebook group that I have all about crafters. 
So once again, you guys, thank you for being here. I like to bring my tips and tricks to you along your creative journey. See what you make. Have a good day. Bye.